most popular brews in the 513. Love it or hate it, Cincinnati is a big beer town. WCPO.com is taking a look at the most popular beers in the Queen City. So today I stopped by one of the local hot spots with someone who's really in the know. All this week we have been celebrating everything 513 today. We are talking about beer in the Taft Ale House, and I'm joined by Brian Maines. Brian, you have an article on WCPO.com where you talk about the best brews. Yeah, so I literally reached out to more than 24 local craft breweries here in Greater Cincinnati in the 513 area code and uh, got a bunch of responses. They all shared with me what their uh, what their best beer, or most popular beer was. So and, best uh, seller. Best seller, basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, we range everything from here at Taft's Ale House, which uh, theirs is the Nelly Key Lime Ale, which is a which light blonde ale. It's that one right there. Right. It's very tasty, uh, low, you know, low alcohol volume. So just a, a great summer sipping beer and uh, one of my favorites here at Taft. Refreshing. Yes, sure. exactly. And what are we looking at here? This is another one of their flagship beers. It's called the Gable Banger. It's a little hoppier, a little stronger, but it's a good well-rounded beer as well. What I love about the article is it's not your traditional article. Can you explain that? Yeah, so I packaged it. I got photos of each beer and on like mobile devices, it's a swipe through thing. It's a gallery with a brief description of each beer and why those breweries told me it was their most popular brew to serve. It really is a, a pretty pictorial, something yeah. definitely worth checking out. And I want to talk about the history of beer here because it really is part of Cincinnati's identity. Oh yes. Yeah. You know, Cincinnati's strong German heritage, and when you're down here, especially in Over the Rhine, there were hundreds and hundreds of breweries back in the day. Were they personal breweries, or how did that work out? Yeah, a lot of your yeah. bars made their own beers, and uh, we've kind of come full circle to a degree with a lot of that. And uh, Christian Moorline was kind of like the granddaddy of that. They were probably the largest brewer and distributor in the country at the time up until about prohibition and then of course that kind of changed a lot of things so, so how did it come full circle how how is it that we're rediscovering beer and breweries you know i, I think it's a lot of focus on people coming back to their urban core and wanting to know where their beer is brewed and where the ingredients come from uh, actually the new christian moorline kind of kicked that off uh, about 10 years ago when they kind of reintroduced the beer here in cincinnati and People have just been following that trend, so, and it's really exciting. It, beer becomes an adventure, so you get to try different places and different approaches to brewing beer versus kind of the more traditional, larger distributors that we've seen, so. Sure, and yeah. you can take a guided adventure just by going to Brian's article on WCPO.com. Check it out, it's really interesting. And I have to say, Steve, yeah. Taft's Ale House is gorgeous. No, oh, it's I a mean, beautiful it's place. It's just a feast it really for the is. eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a feast for the uh, belly as well. <laughs> yeah, I was, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the 